At Ipswich, on the Orwell, a group of volunteers keeps alive the memory of Britain's wartime fast boats. MTB 102 is part of a story that began in 1927 with Hubert Scott Payne. He was convinced the government would need high-speed fighting ships in wartime. Those that could slip through the enemy's defences, strike without warning, and rely on speed to get away. His British powerboat company, based at Hythe on Southampton Water, set out to design a new type of hull that could skim the surface of the sea. But Scott Payne had not only to test the hull, he had to find engines to power the craft at over 40 knots. His first motor torpedo boat was made in 1936 and set a standard that was taken up by others. Companies were pressing the government to invest in small, fast ships. Among them was Vospers, whose motor torpedo boat eventually became a legend. Scott Payne, Vospers and others were trying to work out the best way of launching torpedoes from a vessel that was motoring at 40 knots. The earliest MTBs threw theirs off the stern and then got out of the way as quickly as possible. Later, trials proved that the best method was to launch torpedoes from tubes on deck. Vospers produced an MTB as a private venture, hoping to persuade the Admiralty to place an order. And this is it. That prototype, launched in 1937, is still at sea, now in the hands of Richard Basie and the MTB 102 Trust. Today, MTB 102 wears the red ensign. For a few days in May 1940, 102 wore the flag of Rear Admiral Wake Walker, improvised from a dishcloth. Wake Walker was in charge of the evacuation of Dunkirk, and when his destroyer was crippled, he commandeered 102 as his flagship. It was MTB 102's finest hour. Thank you.